Excellent, welcome. My name is Rado and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our first event of 2015. Such a joy, and that has gone really fast since last week we meet we, uh, we had here in December. Has anyone been here? Or when, who was here in December? And just by show of hands, who is here today for the very first time? Excellent. And I know it takes a lot of courage to take Saturday afternoon off, so please give yourself a big, warm welcome. Okay, please, if you have your phones with you, what would we do without our smartphones today? Please turn them to silent or remove the battery, that's always the safest thing. <laughs> 80% of the information we receive is through our eyes. So we'll be sharing with you some photos and videos today to arouse your childlike curiosity. There's a visible curiosity here. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> so what we are going to do today is we have two, we have a guest speaker, then we have a whole family, guys, uh, that has been on the road diet or eating habits for quite some time, so they'll be sharing with you their stories, their story. We have uh, lots of surprises as well and prizes. So, now, who is, who does any New Year's resolutions? Anyone write, writing down goals for New Year? Excellent. Excellent for your view. Beautiful. So, goals. What do we do with goals? We write them down and then what happens? <laughs> If we take action, of course, they will be fulfilled. But if we don't, things don't get done. And let's have a look. Some of them here, including public speaking, it has been my, my goal for many years. And let's have a look at the use of a gym, also of a home gym. Anyone familiar with this picture, with your actions that you take? Now, gyms are very profitable in January, have you noticed? And what happens? A few months in to the goals, people drop off and they actually, yeah, it takes a bit of money to, to cancel those uh, memberships, doesn't it? Okay. Why are we here today? And uh, that's probably the most important question you can ask yourself. Why are you here today? We are here today because we are interested in some changes in uh, lifestyle, I believe. Uh, Changes. We, uh, changes are not always comfortable to, to make because we love our comfort zone. But guess what? Nothing spectacular happens inside your comfort zone. It's always a little push that we need to get over and, and change something. And let's have a look how and why we are driven. How are we driven to change? There are two basic uh, reasons why we are driven to, cha to change. It's number one, either desperation or inspiration. And I am hoping that this is why all of you are here today. You are here because you want to get inspired. And on the other hand, if you have some other challenges, you are in the right room because this is where results happen. Uh, this is the email that I received this morning. And uh, this morning, I mean 2.36 a.m. it was sent, so I got it this morning, 9 a.m. Here is the reason. Hi, Hannah, thank you for your response. I, I'm not going to name. It was a family of four. They were supposed to be here today. We would have chairs for them. And she wrote that uh, her uncle had a heart attack. Sorry, we couldn't make it. He's now homebound, sore feet. His doctor told him they are stunned in any other options and don't know where to go with my uncle, which is perfect. She says it's perfect because now he's more willing and committed to the change. What does it take to change for you? My question is. Uh, for my father, it took four heart attacks to change. So now he's willing to eat some uh, fruit for breakfast and he's willing to listen, even to me, because I was always the weird one in the band. We had a different, <laughs> different uh, ideas and opinions. Disease or discomfort or any challenge that you may have physically, emotionally, spiritually is a invitation to change. Are you ready? Change something. If something doesn't suit you, then it's time to do something about it. 